My work is about bodies and histories and landscapes and all the different stories that we make up in order to present ourselves to others. Sometimes they can be funny, other times they can be really dark. I like to explore all the different myths that come along with cultures, um, especially when they migrate to other communities. The scars that we have, the veins, the tattoos, the things that are always in part of our body but sometimes are not desirable but it's always there, so then sort of just wearing it proudly. I tend to deal with a lot of Rubenesque bodies because sometimes things that are not socially aesthetically acceptable in one community can become desirable and optimal in another. There's a saying called cabeza dura. You literally have to have be like have a stiff neck to go there because they get your hair and they start pulling and pulling because they want you to have that perfectly wavy craziness. What's funny is that in all those cultures the ideal is always to try to imitate the ideal of, um, of being European and no one does it better than Dominicans but what's never mentioned is that that flow actually comes from Dominican history, a kind of dark period in my opinion comes from this law that happened in the 1800s called the Fan Test. Divorce was really difficult, so you had to have very specific grounds for, it, for divorcing, and one of them was race. He would take her to court, they would blow on her hair, and if it didn't flow naturally, like that standard of Dominican hair salons, then she was too black and he could divorce her. What would happen if I submitted myself through these tests, these really ridiculous tests? And one of them is the um, brown paper bag test in the South, where you had to match a brown paper bag or be lighter in order to pass. Could I pass? So the piece is titled, Do I Pass? Introducing the brown paper bag to the fan test for all the months of 2011. What I did is that every day, I would take a picture of my hair as soon as it interacted with the weather, sort of using it as a hygrometer, barometer, like just a test of the environment through my hair. 